Hey, Shalom Akim, Shalom. First thing and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, praises and glory, glory and honor is due to Yahweh, by Shimi, Yahweh Shai, by Shimmer Kakwadash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. No in the gospel of our living up the standard of Yahweh, by Shimmy, Yahweh Shai, wherever it may be. It's the Akiya Mahalo, you're coming back with a lesson through the Spirit. Lord, it's really be edifying. Uh, this is from Chicago, ABC7, which, you know, ABC7 News is mainstream media news and um very reluctant to report on the things that they talk about because it's always some type of disinformation within their ranks but nonetheless um there has been a mandate out there in chicago for the police force to receive the uh vanessa by a certain day and um it was allegedly that three thousand employees left or quit over the weekend or was fired to some magnitude with insight or more that's supposed to be leaving and walking away. Uh, we had an incident that um, you had people that was marching up to F City Hall in Seattle to turn into that to turn in their boots and fire gear, because you know the police department and the fire department they work hand in hand, so to speak. They're pretty much uh, receive some of the same pensions because they're considered city workers too. Then you have your uh, public works, you know your signals and signings and stripings and so forth like that. They're all city workers, but with different unions, so to speak. But anyway, it says Chicago police Vanessa mandate standoff between mayor CBD stretches on as discipline and discipline ramps up. But you got this guy, uh, Lori Lightfoot. <laughs> she's a female, but uh, they call her as Beetlejuice, you know, and she's a total demon, man. All right. She's a demon and she single handedly ran Chicago into the ground. And because of her crime has went up a thousand percent. And I don't say that loosely. But anyway, it says more Chicago police officers are being disciplined for defying a city's mandate put in place by Mayor Lori Lightfoot. But she's a joke. Okay, the Lord has a special judgment for that thing, man. You know, because she's swerving down, she's tough. But in retrospect, she's nothing but a puppet for the elites. Because before her, you had this guy by the name of uh, Rama Mayu. Rama Mayu, which he was a Malachite. And then before that, you had this guy... Uh, Mayor Daly, which all of them was some crooks. I think the most upright mayor that Chicago had was probably Harold Washington. And even then, he was part of the establishment to some degree. Anyway, it says officers who have not complied with the mandate by either refusing to upload the status to the city's online portal or who have not gotten Vanessa won't submit to testing are being taken off the streets and put into no pay status as the mandate requires. And OK, and this is nothing more but propaganda to get people to fall victim of a falling world okay and i say it that way because you have to choose the words that you say carefully because you know youtube you know youtube is is is, is on one you know but nonetheless uh i'm not knowing they tested method i don't know if they're doing the the, the pcrs or the uh spit test but more than likely they're doing the uh one that you break the blood brain barrier which you know came out that uh that wasn't the most plausible way of of, of finding out something you know, and um, that's another thing, too, that they're not consenting to. But anyway, it says Monday, the city released data showing the compliance levels across all city departments. They said the city that of yesterday was 79 percent of employees have confirmed the status. And 80 percent of those are fully, which I don't believe that. But then again, it could be very true because when you control, like I did a lesson the other day. When you control the people or you control the food, you control the people. When you start threatening livelihoods and to take away pensions, you'd be surprised on how quick people will fold because they are invested in this society. When you are invested in something and you put your all in something, they call it uh, putting your eggs in one basket, you're going to go all out for that. And that's why people are getting afraid now because their jobs are being threatened, which shows you how weak and the lack of integrity that you Babylonians have. But nonetheless, you do have a lot of people that are standing up against it, man. Mainly Edomites. Because you don't really see Jake out there protesting. Every time you see a goddamn Jake, Jake is, well, you know, oh, if it comes down to my job, then I might just have to go ahead and do it. That's the stance the niggas is taking. Because out of all the revolts and the protests and all the other crazy bullshit that's going on in the world, it's mainly Esau. Okay? Because, hey, Jake ain't, Jake ain't going to do shit, man. Jake just going to ride the bandwagon and hopefully that a conclusion could come up with every either way. Jake ain't going to stand for shit. 
And that's what pisses me off about you niggas, man. You niggas, you don't stand for a goddamn thing. You know, you always looking for somebody to do your fucking bidding for you. You know, but yeah, Esau, he knows, man. Esau's like, man, fuck this. I'm not, I'm not dealing with it. You know, so when you seeing uh, all these city hall workers that marching on state government buildings and so forth in these uh, blue states, which they're creating a division, hey, you see 98% Edomites. You may see a few Jakes in there, but majority of them is is is, is Edomites, man. Cause you black, you fucking black Hispanics and Native Americans, man, and you fucking chili bean head Mexicans, man. You you man, you don't stand for a fucking thing, man. You know what I'm saying? And honestly, you know what? The the two thirds of our people, you just need to just go. All right, you're completely in the way. You need to get you. The Most High is gonna take you out. You see what I'm saying? Because we've been telling Jake time and time again, week in and week out, for as long as we can remember, that it was coming to these type of lockdowns, to these type of uh, uh, situations, these scenarios, which was ultimately leading into the NW, which we ended NWO, no doubt about that. But these things are going to lead to the MOTB. Okay, you have global markets that are shifting. You have the uh, the uh, the supply chain that's being halted. You see what I'm saying? GDP, no growth there. Everything is getting ready to sh a change paradigm quick. Okay, so these prophecies are popping off like crazy, man. Like I say, if you blink, you're gonna miss something. You know. But anyway, it says the uh, mandate gave all city employees until October 15, but the department. With the lowest level of compliance was the police department. And ain't that some shit? The people that bully the most people, but yet they know they the ones like, look, we ain't dealing with it. And that's a fatal blow to Babylon because guess what? If Chicago lose 50% of their police force, guess what's going to happen? Crime might go down. <laughs> you know, because believe it or not, it's a lot of cops out there that's doing those orchestrated hits. Believe it or not, they're cops, man. Cops, CIA agents. Government agents, sleeper cells. And don't get it twisted. Jake is reacting to it. Okay? So, A, crime may go down, which that's just, a, you know, I'm saying that hypothetically. But then, real, realistically, crime is going to skyrocket, man. Because you're not going to have police to, to do things. And you're going to have niggas that want to slide on ops now. You're going to have more robberies. They said carjackings didn't went up. You know, they said carjackings haven't been as high within the last decade or so. And from carjackings... Home invasions, okay? Because when food is scarce, oh, somebody's coming in your crib to get what you got. Especially if you're not protected by the Lord. Somebody's going to come through your front door, you know? So the Most High is setting this whole thing up for it to fall directly on his face, man. And we can see it clear, all right? So it says, of the 12,770 police employees, only 8,227 reported their status, which is just 64%. It says the remaining 4,543 employees now face possible disciplinary action if they continue to defy orders. Now, I don't know how accurate that number is, but either way it goes, Chicago, they have a shortage of cops, you know, and they need, they need cops out there bad. So when they lose this 4,500 cops, that's a lot of goddamn police officers, man. Okay, 12,000 police, that, that's a lot by itself. And you mean to tell me you can't get crime on the rap? No, because you're the ones that's contributing to the crime. But it says if you take out police and, and fire employees, the percent jumps to 96 percent and 81 percent of the responders are fully. You know what? And I'm going to tell you something. Mostly Jake worked for these cities, man. OK, Esau gave the city jobs up and gave it to Jake. Esau works for the county and state departments, the city. I mean, the county and city governments, you know, because, um, you know, they have to steal good boy. They have the good old boy system there. When they look out for their own, they gave the city over to Jake. When you're looking at the transit authority, mainly Jake and, and Arabs, man, you know. But when you look at the city employees, like the transit authority is mainly Jake's. When you look at the public work sector from uh, uh, signing and striping, looking at uh, street uh, maintenance, you got uh, parks and rec, you got, uh, what's the other department? You got lights and signals, all part of public works. Uh, mainly it's all Jake's doing those jobs, man. You know, but when you get on a state level, that's when you run into more Edomites. So, yeah, it makes sense that 90 percent of you fools comply to the to the to the to the propaganda. OK, 
But anyway, it says here, 81% of respondents are fully. And the mayor said a very small percentage of cops are refusing to comply when directed to do so today. But it says, but the mayor promised that they would take action against city employees who do not comply with her reporting mandate. And no, nobody respect this chick, man. No, nobody really likes her for real. It says, and the police uh, brass moved quickly to send a message to officers and other employees who refuse to follow orders, starting with those that work for the CDB, CPD headquarters. Okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm thinking what kind of message is that? Because Chicago is known for extortion, murder, hits. Okay, and I'm going to tell you like this. The governments, like those politicians, those are some dirty mofos, man. Dirty, if I ever known. They are dirty, they're crooked, and they'll make you disappear. Okay, Lori Lightfoot had ties to the criminal underworld. If you look her up. You know, they say back in the day she used to <laughs> roll with the Black Peace Stone Nations, a.k.a. the Moles, a.k.a. the Black Stones. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's from Chicago, you're very familiar with that street game. In fact, I was actually part of that when I was in the world. Okay? But anyway, that's neither here nor there. But reportedly, she had ties to the Black Stone. So, quiet is kept. But anyway, really knowing it says here. Uh, at the police headquarters, the disciplinary process has begun for thousands of officers who did not meet the Friday deadline to upload their status to the city portal because they're not they're, they're not giving a shit, man. And I guarantee you most of these cops that's walking off the job, most of them are Edomites. You know why? Because Esau, he got balls unlike you simple ass Jakes. Well, you know, I got to take care of my family, man. You niggas are pathetic, man. Okay, you Jakes, you just, you just... You're sickening, you know? And it says here, officers are being brought in for counseling sessions where they are given direct orders to report their status. But if they refuse, they are sent to human resources where the city swiftly takes disciplinary action. And what's going to happen eventually is people going to start revolting against this place, man. They're going to start going up to these buildings and they're going to be just some more of uh, paid agitators to go out there and, and call some shit. No, it's going to come to a point that it's going to be a bloodbath in America, man. OK, because you got troops part of the United States military that's defecting, too. You know, they're defecting and, and, and they're trying to uh, entice people to do this. But a lot of people are not complying with the shit because they don't want they, they know it's, it's not right. You know, which opens up the door for the peacekeepers to come over here, a.k.a. the U.N., a.k.a. the Blue Hats, which they don't play no games, man. They catch you outside. Is either get in the house or they're going to pop your top. And honestly, the UN, they have the biggest rape allegations out of any military on the planet Earth. They have, them in the United States, they have the biggest rape allegations against them, man. Okay, because the UN, they don't give a flying damn about Americans or Babylonians. They don't care about you, you know. Them the last people you want police in your streets. And the Lord is setting up perfectly because these men that's um, defecting from these institutions and they're going their own way. And they're like, the hell with the system. We're going to do our own thing. This is going to be your militia. This is going to be the men that's going to fight against these UN troops, man. Okay? It's going to be basically a bunch of AWOL cops, military men, firemen, ex-military, you know, regular citizens, you know, whatever, uh, patriotic citizens that's going to go against the tyranny because they're going to try to save their, their quote-unquote country, which it doesn't belong to them. You know what I'm saying? And then you got you Jakes that just going to be in the midst of being slaughtered, man. Because they're going to come in and just mow you Jakes down, you know. And another thing, too, I want to say, hey, brothers, man, that TikTok shit is folly, man. I mean, it got some information on there, but I might have to put out a little uh, uh, exhortation video on brothers not getting caught up in that TikTok shit. Especially you young brothers, man. Get get Leave that shit alone. You know, they got the FEMA camp videos and shit. But uh, it shit gets annoying after a while, man. You can't be too caught up in that. Yeah, it's good information, but, but at the same time, these people don't know what the hell is going on. You know, and you can't be using that as doctrine or using that as verbatim, okay? Because the prophecy is in the scripts. Now, if you want to reference certain information and cross-reference the information to know that it's accurate, then okay, that's fine and dandy. But hey, man, stop posting them goddamn TikTok videos, man. That shit is getting annoying. But anyway, let me get to the scriptures. I don't ran it enough. This is the book of 2nd Edges 15 and 14. It says, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh, and one people should stand up to fight against another with swords in their hand. So this is going to be a division between the government 
the people that's not complying versus the people that are complying. Okay, then you're going to have the UN troops or whatever troop they decide to send. Mercenaries, they have for hire because a mercenary is just a fucking killer. It's a trained killer, man, for hire. So America is divided on all parts to the point families are breaking up. Wife saying this, the husband saying that, son is saying this, daughter saying that. And this is exactly what they wanted throughout all the propaganda. Okay, which is going to allow them and justify their means of bringing order out of chaos. Okay, it says, for there should be sedition among men and invading one another, and they should not regard their kings nor princes, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And this is what you're seeing happening here. Because a lot of these guys are walking out, man. Like I said, out there in uh, Seattle, they were walking up to City Hall to turn their badges and their clothes and their gear. They're like, the hell with this, you know, which is going to cause a downshift in the economy. And by this happening before wintertime, we can very well be in a full fledged collapse by come winter. Which is a bad thing for you people. Us, we're going to be taken care of. But it says, at this point, human resources will give you another opportunity to go on the portal. But if you do not go on the portal at that point and comply, you are placed at a no place status and you are stripped from your police powers immediately. See how they're trying to play on people's emotions? Because they hold these jobs over people's heads like they mean something. When an average person, if they knew what working really represented, they wouldn't give a fuck about it. You know, but it says, says the Fraternal Order of Police, President John uh, uh, Cantazara Jr. It says here, the mayor said similar steps are being taken against employees in any department who did not comply with reporting requirement. And hey, somebody may just put her ass straight to death, man. Somebody may literally catch her and just beat the shit out of her because she just one of them, them things that you just really want to just pounce on because she's that fucking annoying. Just looking at her, she's just a straight demon. You know what I'm saying? And somebody's going to fucking punch our clock real soon the most high don't well the course is of the most high but somebody's gonna punch our clock if the most high don't reserve it for the missiles man you know what i'm saying it says here it must be clear it's not a op it's not an action against the fop lightfoot said i deeply believe that the only way that we can maximize maximize safety in our workplaces by getting our employees such as such which yeah right but it says the county state's attorney office is reporting 99 percent compliance with this requirement however the fop claims that because the city did not fairly bargain over the mandate the order to report that status is invalid <laughs> but on one legal ground said the union is on shaky ground okay and this is the reason why i hate abc news because they give you a bunch of basically a bunch of fabricated bullshit you know what i'm saying they give you that watered down that everybody want to hear shit nobody want to hear this man you know but it says standout between Chicago mayor and police. It says the shit hit courts with shootings up 68 percent over the period and carjacking heading for the record high. So it's going to be some shit in Chicago, buddy. All right. It says here in a mansion desire to go in a city and should not be able for because of their pride. The city should be troubled and the houses should be destroyed, destroyed and men should be afraid. And a man should have no pity upon his neighbor, but should destroy their houses with the sword. And destroyed their goods because of the lack of bread and great tribulation. So this thing is going to spiral out of control, which is going to lead to more food shortages, which food shortages leads into famine, which famine leads into riots, seditions among men, home evasions, murder. OK, all types of shit. And it's just a big ball of 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 uh, anarchy, a, a carnage that's getting ready to manifest itself on the streets in America any day now. All right. Second address nine and one. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest the parts of the signs past which I have told thee before. The most I said, I hear declare new things and things that not yet done, roughly paraphrasing it. You know, and he said, Before these things happen, I speak of them. How does he speak? Through prophets. For those of you that don't believe the prophets are relevant today. And it says, Then thou shalt understand that it is the very same high time wherein the highest will begin to visit a world which he made. Therefore, when there should be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then thou shalt well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. And if you look around the world, you have nothing but protests. They just went up in protest today in South Africa, man, because of the same shit. So anyway, um, I'm going to end it there on praises and glory and honor that's due to you. How about you? How was shy? Double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the whole elect. It was in the gospel of our love, the standard of Yahweh, Shimi, Yahweh, Shai, wherever it may be. And with that, Shalom.
And blah, blah, blah. Hey, brothers, buckle up the seatbelts, man. Riders getting ready to get bumpy. Shalom.